YouTube, you don't need to clock to know what time it is. It's Pride Time, and it's time to talk that Detroit Lions talk. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first off, I want to address the injury report coming out today. Uh, Brian Branch has already been ruled out for Sunday's game against the Panthers. James Mitchell, doubtful for Sunday's game. And I'm on Ron St. Brown, doubtful for Sunday's game. I don't expect any of those three guys to play. Um, obviously, he, Brian Branch already being ruled out. But James Mitchell and Amara St. Brown being doubtful, I don't see them playing this game. And you know what? They shouldn't. You know why? Because we're playing against the Carolina Panthers. I'm not trying to disrespect this team, but this team just simply has not looked good. They're on four in the, in the season. I think they're the only undefeated – defeated. they're the only team with no wins – up to this point um it's not always about winning winning records we saw that last night with the bears but <clears throat> this offense has been has been hard to look at talking about the carolina panthers um the detroit lions are one of the top teams against the run stopping the run and the carolina panthers if i had to guess they're one of the bottom teams and run in rushing so you put those two together you can see why there's such a huge discrepancy and point differential in the spread. They got the Lions favored by nine, nine and a half points. And I don't know if we actually win by that margin, but I do expect a, a win nonetheless. Um, it looks like teams have been making it a concerned effort to stop the run and force Bryce Young to, uh, you know, beat them in the, in, in the passing game. And you look at Carolina's offense, they don't have a true number one wide receiver right now. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's been reported that they're actually looking to trade for a number one wide receiver. Uh, they got Adam Thielen, who's been noticeably a killer of the Detroit Lions secondary, but he's older now. Uh, you got DJ Chark, who come off an injury earlier this year. Uh, he hasn't looked... You know anything spectacular up to this point so you got some questionable pieces on the offense with the carolina panthers and if you force them to throw the ball and you stop the run that's obviously the easiest way to beat this team if the carolina panthers aren't careful they can see themselves being down really bad in the first half like that packers game on thursday night uh i'm really confident in this game i think that the lions come in regardless of who's in who's out and I think they come in and handle their business, man. I think this is going to be one of those games where, shit, Carolina gets, you know, embarrassed. Whether that just be because they can't do nothing on offense or the Lions just running them out of the building. Either way, uh, I expect a dominant performance from the Detroit Lions. I think they're going to pin their ears back uh, first by stopping the run. And then they're going to send crazy pressure at Bryce Young. And with him being a young quarterback and not really having any weapons, I can see how this game is gonna go. So uh it's it's I'm not I'm not thinking too much about it. I'm alright St. Brown is usually uh healthy, or if he isn't healthy, he's usually playing either way. But it looks like he's gonna be out this game, but it looks like it should matter. Uh like I said, this Carolina team uh right now, uh under a young quarterback, under an offense that's not doing anything in the run game. I, I really can see a, a, it get ugly real quick for the Carolina Panthers. So uh, I'm expecting the Alliance win. I expect the Lions to go four and one. Unfortunately for the Carolina Panthers, that means they're falling behind zero and five. Uh, and yeah, man, that's 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 how I'm looking at this game. I'm not I'm not worried too much about it. And uh, right now, my focus is ahead of this game, which it shouldn't be. It should be a week by week basis. But I'm looking towards. You know, Tampa. I'm looking towards uh, uh, Baltimore. Those type of teams. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, it is what it is. And I ain't got too much to say about this video, man. The Lions should get this this job done. They should win. Uh, win handedly. But if they don't, just get the win. That's all I got to say, man. Make sure y'all hit the like. Y'all subscribe if y'all haven't already subscribed. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.